Craftsman. Yeah, this was given to me a few years back. I don't remember exactly when. And I forgot exactly what was wrong with it. Oh, yeah, I know what was wrong with it. Uh, he had another mower that tore up and he robbed parts out of it. And give me the rest. Rather than to go and buy a new part, he just robbed a part out of this mower. But anyway. <coughs> Sears even has that on the tire. But anyway. Uh, I think he said it would start. I don't remember. He said there was other things with it. And it has compression. So it's not locked up. All right, I don't even know how long it's been since it's run. And we got an 18 horse Briggs and Stratton. Uh, twin, actually. I think it's got oil in it. Oh yeah, it's got plenty of oil in it. Well, I know how to I know that's the incorrect way to check the oil, but at least it verifies there's oil in it. <sighs> okay, we're going to see if it'll start anyway. Uh, that's today's objective. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see if I can get to it. Nothing so far. Okay. Let's try the connection a little bit better over here. Now let's try it again. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like the starter is locked up. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll take it apart sometime and see if I can get it freed up some. I don't know how long it's been sitting, but uh, like I said, the engine itself isn't locked up, so it should run once it's once you get it to crank anyway. Okay, there'll be more videos coming on this soon. There's no way I could get this going in one video. Okay, thanks for watching.